Hey guys, Lego Star Wars 888 here, back with um, another army video. So far I've done a review on my clone army, droid army and rebel army. So this is my fourth and final army video. As you can already tell, it, this is the Imperial Army. Um, so what we'll do, we'll get onto the minifigures and the sets and vehicles themselves. So we've got 15 stormtroopers, uh, just before I'll show you them. Is it just a quick comparison between the old Stormtrooper and the new one? The only difference really is the helmet. There's a on the mouthpieces there, and the helmets are actually this one. The new one slightly bigger than this one. So I just want to tell you that. So we've got 15 Stormtroopers. Um, so that's three across and five um, upwards, like a long ways. But two Sand Troopers as well. Which came in uh, Imperial Landing Craft. Can't find my Imperial Landing Craft set. Um, most of the pieces fell apart years ago, so all I've got left is the Sun Troopers, and it came with two Sun Troopers, two Storm Troopers, and a TIE pilot. Um, they come with orange pauldrons, and another thing that they didn't actually come with were, sorry about the shadow, were these uh, backpacks that they do come with in a new. Sand troopers, they didn't back then, but I added them to them just to make them look a bit more realistic, like more detailed. The back here we've got some TIE pilots and shadow troopers, a bit hard to see, and there's a V-wing pilot in there. So we've got three of the old TIE pilots and one of the new ones, I'll just give you a quick comparison of what I mean, it's a bit dark to see. So there's the old TIE pilot with a, a, a small type helmet. Bit like the, the first version of the Stormtrooper there. This, this one's just black and it uses a TIE pilot. And the new one comes with a larger head, even larger than the Stormtrooper's helmet. And he has a black piece, well, you can see his uh, black head underneath there. Hard to tell, but I'll show you the 8080 driver. So that's a TIE pilot. And next thing. I put an uh, Imperial V-Wing pilot, which came with the Imperial V-Wing, because he is um, part of the Imperial Army, apart from he's in episode 3, not 4, 5, and 6, so I include him anyway. We've got three Shadow Troopers, which came in the Imperial Dropship, uh, dropship set, which came with one Shadow Trooper and three Storm Troopers, which was a battle pack, as you can see over there. You got So I've got three of them battle packs, so I've got three Shadow Troopers. That's mostly how I got mostly Storm, uh, storm Troopers. Um, if we go back over here, we've got 12 snow troopers. Snow troopers be my favourite um, uh, Star Wars characters or Lego Star Wars minifigures. I just like them. They're, they're pretty cool. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with storm troopers or scout troopers, but I like snow troopers very much. So I've got 12 of them. So it's three across and, and uh, four upwards. So not quite as many as the storm troopers, but just three less. So not complaining too much. Um, um, actually we'll go to the scout trooper, just got one of him, I think I paid about £1.50 or £2 for him off eBay so I've only got one of him but when I get the 2012 um, uh, is it end or battle pack with imperial troopers or something like that where you get one another scout trooper in that set and you'll get a newly designed stormtrooper which comes with a bit more detail on the torso but you'll see that in that review coming soon I'll be getting that battle pack but anyways just one scout trooper for now if we go up the back here we've got four 8080 drivers you can see one's the old version uh, comes with black gloves not white gloves and the helmet's small like the original stormtrooper and the original tie pilots they had the smaller helmet and this 8080 driver's got the large helmet like the new tie pilot that I mean, has a a cut piece, you could say, so you can see his helmet. I don't know why they did that, but they did anyway. And we've got R2Q2, the silver astromech droid, which came with the Imperial V Wing Starfighter, which came out in 2011. And we've got um, a mouse droid and the black astromech droid, which came in 2011 calendar, Abbott calendar. They also came in the Death Star, I believe, as well. Over here, we've got um, an Imperial shuttle pilot and an Imperial officer. Basically, the shuttle pilot is the uh, in a black suit, similar to the grey suit of the Imperial officer. So we've got five Imperial officers, two of the old ones, three of the new ones. Quick comparison between new one here and the old one here. 
big difference there. And there's two more at the back. And then an ATST driver. I used to have an ATST, but sadly that broke like the Imperial Landing Craft, so I don't have that anymore. Um, we also got Boba Fett, which came in a Jabba's prize set. But that, that set's not complete. Um, well, I'm just missing the Gamorrean Guard. The old Gamorrean Guard out of that set before I review that set. Next, got two Darth Vader's. One came in um, the TIE Fighter and Y Wing, and the other one came in Final Duel 1, along with uh, Emperor Palpatine or Darth Sidious. So that's Vader and Palpatine there. Master and Apprentice. Um, then we've got some others Darth Maul, Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, and Savage Opress. So those are all the minifigures. I've got 56 Imperial minifigures, 15 Stormtroopers, 12 Snow Troopers, 2 Sand Troopers, 4 TIE Pilots, 1 Imperial Viewing Pilot, 3 TIE Pilots, Boba Fett, 2 Vader, uh, 1 Emperor Palpatine, 2 Astromech Droids, 1 Mouse Droid, 4 AT-80 Drivers, uh, 1 Imperial Shuttle Pilot, 5 Imperial Officers, 1 AT-ST uh, Driver, Darth Maul, Count Dooku, Side Ventress and Savage Press. And obviously, I don't know if I mentioned the Scout Trooper as well, who was on his lonesome there. So obviously, I'll be looking to build on this army. I'll finish off what I'm going to say once I've shown you the sets before I forget. Um, so we've got Darth Vader's TIE Advance, came in the TIE Fighter and Wiring sets. Then we've got the TIE Fighter 7146, which came with the refueling um, bay there. We've got the three Snow Trooper Battle Packs. There, the little, little, um, I can't remember what you call them, little missile areas where they fire the foot fire missiles from. Four speed bikes, three of them came in the Snow Trooper Battle Packs, one came in the Hoff Echo Base set 7879, and three year web cannons, one came in that uh, Echo, Hoff Echo Base set 7879, and the other two came in Echo Base 7749 from 2009. Um, then we've got three Imperial drop shoots which were the 2007 battle pack for the stormtroopers so those are the imperial dropships, I've got three of them and the imperial viewing set itself so that's it, like I was saying I'm trying to expand on this imperial army especially with the new 2012 battle pack which will, should get me some more scout troopers and the stormtroopers I'll always be on the lookout for more snow troopers as like I said they're my favourite and I'll always try and expand on getting more imperial officers T80 drivers, TIE pilots, shadow troopers, whatever, um, um, and other Imperial members. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because I'll be doing more reviews on 2012 sets and all the sets coming soon. So stay tuned for them. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And bye.